everyone, it's just Vicky from Compute for Kids. Right, I have been asked to set some challenges for you to do at home that you can do on your laptop, your iPad, um, computer, whatever you've got, it doesn't matter, and have a go at them at home. So what I'm going to do is post on some tutorials for you to have a go at. You can pause them as you go through so you don't have to do it all in one go. You can go back and rewind it if you need to, to look back at a step. And I'm going to take you through step by step instructions of what you need to do to create some really, really fantastic projects. OK, so let's get started. Hi everyone, today we will be looking at a dance tutorial, um, looking at adding music, creating a background or editing a background and getting a character to dance or look like they're dancing or multiple sprites. So let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is just go into the menu down here at the bottom. Can you see just where we've got a little sprite and we're going to go into the library and we're going to look for if you hover your finger over the characters, you'll find those ones that actually do dance. I might go for him and I think I'll go for him. So I'm going to get him in. I'm also going to go back just to that character that I saw. I think it was that one there. So I've got my two characters. I can see one's bigger than the other, so we'll sort that out in a moment. I also have got this scratch cat that I don't want. So I'm just going to go down to here, click onto him. Just click the um, bin and that's him gone. So next thing we're going to do is very quickly just make this character, the one on the right, the same size as the one on the left. So I quite like the size of him. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm clicking on that character, on that sprite, and I'm going to go over to my menu and I'm going to click on the looks button. I'm going to go down, 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 down set size change size means every time i click on the button it will keep changing the size but i want to set the size so i think i'm going to go for not 50 percent because he's going to be half the size he is i'm going to try um 80 percent all i did was i clicked onto the actual code so he's about the same size now so i'm going to get that code and just push it over there out of the way The next thing I'm going to have a look at is getting these characters to move. OK, now they have got different dance moves. So I'm going to concentrate on this one over here, first of all. OK, so just if I follow my cursor all the way across and click on the costumes, I can see that he's got six, seven, seven different costumes. OK, and if I click onto them, it just shows me the different ones. So I'm going to click on the first one and I'm going to go to code. And I'm going to start to develop. So there are two ways of doing this. I'll show you both ways and you can decide how you're going to do it. So I need to change the way he looks. So this is the menu here that I'm going to use. And I'm going to go down to here and I'm going to pick out this one here. I'm going to pull it over again. So it says switch costume two. And I'm going to pull seven out because there are seven different doesn't matter where you put them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. OK. If you want to clip them together, you can do. We just put it all into one big tower so the algorithm follows through. So we're going to start with A, B, C, D. And all I'm doing is I'm clicking on that little arrow and it drops down. Oh, I missed out E. I'm going to go back and do E. F and G. So if I click the code now, it looks like nothing has happened because it's gone so quickly through the code that there's no, you can't, you can't see the difference between it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a wait command. So that command will just stop each dance move from going straight through and it's, it'll let me see him actually dance. So let's follow over onto that control button and we've got that wait button. I'm going to pop one in there. I'm going to pop one in there. Pop one in there. You can see it's a bit of a pattern. Don't worry if your code goes off the bottom because you can just use your little slider here just to go down. I'm going to put one on the end. Now I'm going to click my code. 
Now, I like the fact that I can see everything he's doing, but I don't like something about this work. Okay, you have to think about what I might like and what I don't like. Okay. That's right, I don't like how slow he's moving between it. So that wait one second between each of the different out different um, costumes is not very effective. So we're going to take that one and we're going to use half a second. OK, so half of one is 0 0.5. Just use your um, full stop for that decimal place. We're going to use 0 0.5. 0 0.5 we're going to do it for every single one I'll keep going right down and 0 0.5 so now I'm going to look through and just have a press play and see what happens so still a bit too slow so what I want you to do is investigate a way of making this the speed that you want and it might change when you add the music in later Right, so I hope you've had a go at that. If you look at my code now, you might have spotted that I've changed it to 0 0.25. So that's splitting that 0 0.5 in half again, 0.25. I've also got a 0 0.1 down here as well. If you want to, so if I press my play now, follow the code through, you can see that last part, he will kind of do it a little bit quicker. So what I'm going to do now is instead of using a forever loop, I'm going to use a repeat loop. So I might pull that across. I want you to go through this twice. So these are two different dance moves. So if I pull that across, and I'm also going to get a piece of code that helps me set him off dancing, okay? Just to get started. So I'm going to go over here to my events and I'm going to get my flag. So I'm going to press it. Da, da. Okay, so I've simply gone through all of the dance moves and taken them one by one. You might want to change these around and have them doing certain moves. That's totally up to you. Make it your own. Okay. So I've looked at the one character. I'm now going to look at the other. So I'm going to click onto him down here. Look, I'm going to click onto his sprite and you'll spot that the code disappears because we haven't coded him yet. Okay. Now I'm going to use the same event button here, the same button to set off my algorithm. Okay. And I'm going to go and do the same thing now. And I'm going to spot just how many costumes he's got. He has only got two. OK, he's a bit more of a simplistic character. So costumes back over to code. And this is where I might have to think a little bit more carefully about him. So he's going to go on to and I'm going to show you a different way of coding him. OK, we're still going to change his costume. But what we're going to do is we're going to make it a lot, little easier in terms of how quick it is to do it so instead of using switch costume we're going to use next costume okay i'm going to go back to my control and i'm going to go and grab this button and i'm going to put this loop in and you'll spot what happens to pop this inside so we've got this loop we're nesting all of our code inside there right and i'm going to press play So you can see this happens very quickly. It goes through 10 times. And instead of putting all the different costumes, I'm just saying go to next costume because you've only got two, so you're going to go between the two. I might, if I wanted to, go and grab one of these. So I'm in the looks, switch costume. So you might do jump in, see what that looks like. So you can see the difference, not very good. So I'll take that back out. Now, let's have a look at how we add a background. So adding in backgrounds, I'm gonna show you two different ways of doing this. One which is editable and two, um, well, that's actually three ways of doing the background. So you can make your own, you can use one or you can edit one. OK, so that's what we're going to do. I'll show you the different ways you can choose. So if we head over to the backgrounds, we know that we can explore and choose a background here. So I'm just going to click onto it. I'm going to choose one, I think, outdoors. I don't imagine these two guys are going to be in a, um, in a building. OK, but I'm going to choose this one. This is the one where I'm just going to have them 
simply dancing in this background but I'm going to show you another way of doing it so this one isn't editable okay I can look at the costume sorry I'll go back over here click on the background always click on the background to show that you're editing that one this one I can't really change okay it won't allow me to so I'm going to show you a way of doing it where you can so I'm going to go down I'm going to click outdoors because I was outdoors before and I'm going to pick one that's more of like a cartoon style I think I'll try this one so you can see them now I'm going to click on the background so I know that I'm working on the background and I'm going to go to this fill button here so I'm just going to take these buildings I'm going to just try and find a different there we are now can you see how we've changed the background all I did was I picked the color that I wanted I might go for like a lighter I might go darker there if I wanted to change the ones in the complete background I'm going to click on those ones you can change those ones you might even have a different floor I'm going to fill that one with what color I don't want black I'm going to move these bars and just get a different color there okay so it means that these characters stand out a bit more if you want to totally up to you if you notice how I'm on a character now if you want to change your character and how they appear remember he's got more than one costumes so if you do him you're gonna to have to be careful I might want to change the way he appears so that he's got a brighter might change his outfit is cut top to red okay sometimes it'll allow you sometimes it doesn't so I'm going to change him back I'm just clicking undo to get rid of any changes I've noticed he I can't really change him because he's not really a cartoon character he's more of a photograph okay the last thing I'm going to do for this session I've got them ready I am going to get them to dance okay so I'm going to go back to my stage and I'm going to go I've clicked on the stage over here I'm going to go up to my code and I'm going to go to my events call that over and I'm going to go to sounds so this is your sound bar you can make it faster, slower, louder. The minute it's just got a pop noise in. But what you can do, and it might not sound on mine, the sound might not come up, but what we can do is investigate. So I'm going to go and choose a sound. I'm going to go into the library. You can record your own, or if you've up, you can upload a sound. If you've got something on your iPad that you can um, create sounds, you can make your own. I'm just going to choose a sound. I'm going to go to, uh, not percussion, loops. Now, in loops, there are different, there's lots of different types. There's animal sounds, effects, loops. Loops means that there's going to be some kind of dance music that I can use. So I'm going to use drum funky. Okay, I'm going to click onto drum funky and we've got this. The next thing I'd like to try and do is get this music to play whilst they are dancing. Remember, I might have to change either the speed of the music or how quickly they're dancing for them to fit. So I'm going to use that one. I'm going to go up to my code. And I'm going to say, right, when I click, I want them to dance, but I also want this music to play. OK, so I'm going to go to sounds bar over here and I'm going to say play drum funky until done. OK. You could just say start the funky sound if you wanted to, but I want this to play. So when I click the flag here, the reason I'm clicking this flag is I want that sprite, that sprite and the music to play all at the same time. If I just click on this, the music will just go. So let's try. Now, that worked. I had the music going, but it didn't last as long as I wanted it to. OK, so I'm going to put in another one and I think I'll go I need a third one so 
you don't just have to have that sound if you wanted to go and investigate more sounds you can go and get another one i'm going to go back to loops might click on that one so i've got them all in the bar here go back to my code and then i could if i wanted to put a different one in so i might put that one there and take that one out so it's going to go drum funky jam funky drum jam and press go so up to you to go and have a go now and see what you can come up with Now the big parts of this that I want you to go through and debug is how the music is playing, okay? The characters, the sprites, okay? If you want to have certain dance moves moving more quickly, so when we are singing a song, we, we sing a verse and a chorus. So what you might want to do is just play around with this code and do what we call a couple of nested loops, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and get my little loop. I'm gonna pull two out. Okay, this one I'm going to just pop in twice and this one I'm going to say do it three times and I'm going to drag out some of this code and say well I want you to do that in here and I want you to do that in there. I can clip them together. It doesn't matter how much code you've got in here, okay, but what will happen is I'm just going to pull these side by side so you can see them. However I put them, I put this one first and I put that one second, it will go through this little dance routine twice and then it will go through that one three times. Okay, so if I put this up into here now, I'll take that little loop off and I'll stick them like this and I'm going to press play. Remember you can click that down to make it smaller or you can move your bar there. Okay, I'm going to press play. So a bit different okay and debugging as well i might go back and have a look at the music or change the music have fun enjoy yourself and don't forget to comment and tell me what you think or what you've been up to and how it's worked for you so some extra fun that you can have um with dance offs there's an activity that you can do here just to go and investigate it if you want to all i've done is i've gone into google and i've typed in code.org at the top here and look at the different options you're looking for this one here code.org learn today build a brighter tomorrow if we click onto that you have got all this bar at the top here you can go and learn teach yourself there's lots of different things but there's a little create button over here and if you go all the way down it's one that you've seen with me before but it's just a reminder that it's there don't worry about popping in your age here you're not putting any other information in i'll put in nine and you've got these little events button here that you can click and just explore okay so for example i can put my world in just click it in i'm going to have ice cream and i'm going to have disco balls i'm going to go back because i can see dances make a cat I'm going to go and investigate and have actually no I'm going to have a pineapple I can go and get another dancer oh I can see that they're going to do dances so all the characters might change that to the cats all the cats sorry all the pineapples to make sure it's the same I'm going to do a body roll okay the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and choose the music and then I'm going to press run. Okay, and then the reset. You can keep going in. Sorry if that was really loud there. It was for me. Um, go in and have a look. But keep looking in these functions and dances and worlds to develop. So if you want to go and add in another dancer, you can go and grab another one in there. I'm going to add that. The cat might change his position. He's going to go bottom left. And I think he's going to go bottom right. Okay. And then I'm going to go and choose how that dancer moves. Um, I think, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put that back there. Did you notice how I just held the, um, the code over the bar here and it went away? So I'm going to go to um, that, pop it in. And I want the cat to do 
the floss. OK, press play and then it will keep updating your um, program and your algorithm will play out here and you can go and change the music to whatever you fancy.